Dude, I wanted to make a documentary about him so bad. We're, okay, <laughs> all right, we're gonna start the podcast. <laughs> okay, we have special guests in the building. Maybe returning guests in the future too. So we have Aiden. Hello, Aiden. Do you want me to say your last name? Oh uh, yeah, Aiden McCourt. There you go. They're all gonna find yeah. me anyway. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. We'll tag you. We got Brady Keen. Hi. Open mic legend. Open mic legend. Yeah. Damn. That's the, right. Open mic <laughs> legend. I was gonna say that's me, maybe, but. Yeah. <laughs> Detroit open mic, so whatever value that gives you. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> Brad, of course. Uh, also open mic legend. <laughs> uh, less so than Brady, I think. Let's, let's not get Oh, that, 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 I, I agree, I agree. Uh, no, Brad's great at comedy. Thanks. I'm bad at comedy. Um, Aiden's never done comedy. I think I'm funny. Yeah, Aiden's pretty funny. That's, that's, yeah. yeah. that's really all it takes. <laughs> and you know who is funny? As Jack Black and Kyle Cass. What, what a <laughs> segue. Oh, yes, wow. they really are. What that makes you, good. what may, What would make you bring them up? You know, I was just thinking <laughs> about them together. because, yeah, I, I watched a movie that they were in called um, Tenacious D, the Picket Death. Have you guys seen this movie? I've I have, seen yes. It. Yeah. I actually just watched it yesterday. What a quote, what really? I watched it yesterday, too. I watched it during lunch. I watched it Monday. <laughs> what? That is so crazy that we all watched this movie around the same time. Yeah. It's wild. It's Don't you like guys? We planned it. A little uh, bit. Almost. A little, bit. a little too close, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Do, who wants to give their first opening thoughts? Oh, yeah. It's a great movie. Uh, it's I, a great movie? <laughs> it's, I mean, go ahead. Yeah, I think, it's, I think it's one of those movies that is, like, stupid fun. And yeah. maybe it doesn't necessarily have, like, this deep thematic thing they're trying to address. It's just this silly movie that has the most ridiculous humor. And yeah. it, it really it really tests its bounds as abstract comedy I think a movie can get in that time period. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, around, I mean, just going off of uh, talking about Jack Black, I feel like he doesn't try in that movie, but not in the way where he, like, phones it in. Mm-hmm. They're just like, hey, here's a camera, here's a budget, yeah. here's your, uh, here's Kevin Gass, like, have fun. And yeah. he just does. And uh, it is kind of like the start, you know, and the... Uh, that kind of you know late to mid two thousands where it's like you know kind of like the goofy movie not the goofy movie we could talk about the goofy movie yeah. yeah. same love goofy movie. I'm more of an extremely goofy movie man I hate um, why wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like two minutes into the pod we're gonna start a fight hate that movie <laughs> but uh, no because it's like that and like Hot Rod which is like all these goofy movies oh, yeah. like yeah. cult movies that people love like, yeah. it's kind of the beginning I want to say the beginning of that but mm-hmm. it's like one of those you know yeah. I think a lot of that too is uh, I believe this was I think I heard this on a podcast I could be wrong but I think you heard ben, it on this ben podcast Stiller, this may been, yeah, it may have been, uh, ben, ben Stiller produced this movie with, oh, his, yeah. with his oh, studio yeah. Okay. and this was one of the first movies that he produced hell yeah so and you, you can really tell I remember watching it and I was thinking you can really tell this is a Ben Stiller funded movie <laughs> yeah. so when he showed up. it's a Ben Stiller joint well, yeah, when he it helps up, of course because he does show up but it's like the Zoolander or like the Tropic Thunder or like yeah. this just stupid oh, yeah. funny yeah. humor like mm-hmm. there's nothing or uh, you know uh, Walter Mitty well I love that movie yeah yeah like Walter Mitty like, like you can just tell that his his fingerprints are on it mm-hmm. yeah. but also it is still you can tell like, like this is all just Jack Black and yeah. Kyle Gass and like, you can tell he's like run with it mm-hmm. but uh, it's something about like if you look at his movie what he produced and you scroll through it like yeah these yeah. all have the same kind of vibe <laughs> did you guys ever watch the Ben Stiller show yeah I have not yeah, yeah. it's Great. It's a. Uh, it was like right before the Mister Show. It was like Bob Odenkirk mm-hmm. and um, Janine Garofalo. Andy Dick was on there. Andy Dick, yeah, like all these like weird comedy people that like Ben Stiller just had a sketch show with. And yeah, it was great. Yeah, everyone had a sketch show in the nineties. Yeah, they wanted pretty Emmy. much. Yeah, they got canceled the same year. Oh. Same after the Emmy, show. they canceled yeah. them. Didn't want the Emmy. <laughs> There's a whole thing about that. Yeah. That yeah, that show has a big, big like um, <clears throat> big appreciation in comedy and com- yeah. comedic humor movie, yeah. uh, TV like um, community. <laughs> uh, that as well as point. oh my god, I lost my point. Cut it. Let's restart from the beginning. Oh man! All right, <laughs> cool. All right. I'm Joe. Ben Stiller show. I've never seen it, but I'm sure it's great. It's on YouTube. Yeah. Sounds great. Watch on YouTube. Done. I'm there. Yeah. I was like one kind soul uploaded all of them to like. Is yeah, it, or is it like the official? No, 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 no. Because oh. yeah, you can buy. I, I Ben Stiller is my favorite actor for a long time, mm. right? It's, 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 it's funny uh, when people will, would ask my favorite actor was uh, when I was around other like actors, they would say like Marlon Brando or whoever, and then <laughs> they get ben to me, Stiller. and I'm like, mine's Ben Stiller, and <laughs> I would feel left out. But uh, oh. no, yeah, he's my favorite actor. I think I think he's brilliant. He's a great actor. He's, he's a great director. Actor, yeah, he's, yeah. Night at the Museum. 
Yeah, that was a little hard. I mean, even like I think I know you mentioned Walter Mitty a little bit ago, but that's like I do think that movie's really good. Yeah, I think he's slept on uh, profusely. Yeah, as uh, great of a comedy actor as he is, he's also like a great like straight actor too. Yeah, he's fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and hit directing. I mean, he's, he's, I think he's a pretty good director. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for all, I mean, the Severance is fantastic. Mm-hmm. Who knows if two is gonna come out? It's probably not. But uh, it's. it's <laughs> It's, uh, it's it's dope. Like I love Ben Stiller. It's like my guy. Yeah. He's my favorite Ben Stiller movie is Heavyweights. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. 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 That's a good one. I, I, that's a. I remember I watched that in high school because a teacher told me to. Uh, Were they trying to like send a message to you or something? <laughs> I was oh oh that's oh was he? <laughs> okay, good. I think what Keenan Thompson's in that movie. Right? Keenan Thompson, Keenan Thompson. Uh, star of Oppenheimer. Josh Peck is in that movie. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Ghostbusters director Kevin Feige. Okay. Um, Wait, what? 2016. Oh, oh. Wait, Kevin Feige. Kevin Feige. Yeah. He didn't direct Ghostbusters, did he? Didn't he do 2016? No, that was Paul Feig. Oh, that's what I was thinking of, Paul yeah. Feig. Some silly yeah. Feig, Feig Some name. Guy with an F last oh, no. Name. That yeah. could be twisted into something cancelable. Oh, boy. It's not an F word. Brett's always thinking about F word. Well, I, 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 I don't want to. I guess going off of uh, the wrong director, I saw yeah. uh, Liam Lynch directed yeah. The Pick of Destiny, and I spent like 30 minutes last night trying to research if he was related to David Lynch. <laughs> nothing. Like, there's no. What about David Jane Lynch? Lynch? No definitive <laughs> answers. I like you try to look it up. It's just like here's what Liam Lynch is up to nowadays. Remember Clone High? He wrote the theme song. I'm like, great, but is he related? And oh, like, well, they they revived that. So mm-hmm. I know. Yeah. yeah. What is Liam? I didn't look up to what he's into now. I just know he directed music videos, and that's yeah. It was kind of just that, and then um, like he wrote. He was big into music. So yeah, I, I, I think he was on MTV. Honestly. Yeah, I believe he directed music videos for Tenacious D, and he wrote some of the music for School of Rock, and so mm-hmm. that's how he got the gig directing this movie. Both bangers. Yeah, School oh, of yeah. Rock is great. Fire, yeah, fire I haven't film. seen it, but yeah. No, no, no. You ever seen School of Rock? No. What? Oh, no, I haven't oh, seen it. Oh, Joseph. DVD, you borrow it. Do I have DVDs? This man is like I have it on yeah. Blu-ray and yeah. digital. It's coming out on a special steel book. I, just, I saw that as well on yeah. Twitter. No, is, it, is it part of its Criterion Collection release? <laughs> it's my Criterion Collection, absolutely. <laughs> no, that, that, I think that that is Jack Black's, I think it's his best movie, is School of Rock. Oh, yeah. I would probably it's say it makes sense. But the yeah. movie is a close second. Yeah. Yeah. Because the music in this is like really bad. Yeah. 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 The music does go hard. So it starts with him as a boy, Meatloaf is playing his father. Yeah. Um, and that child like, actor, by the way, fuck it, like el- eleven yeah. out of ten. He looks exactly like him. He yeah. and Nacho Libre too, as a kid. Oh Did no shit, really? that's awesome. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so he 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 nailed the whole Jack Black like <clears throat> persona, like all the yes. facial expressions. Yeah. Like no. he that kid crushed I, it. I watched it with my girlfriend. She's like, "Did they superimpose Jack Black's face on that kid?" <laughs> and I'm like, "It was 2006." They de aged yeah. him. <laughs> Also, his name is Jables in the movie. Which I don't know. Is that I think they do call him Jack at some point. I've heard that there, somebody does yeah. say Jack well, then, at some point. Okay. Or JB. The, I watch with the subtitles, you know, because I'm. I'll anti- do that yeah, sometimes. But, um, JB. It's yeah. Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 JB, but they, they call him Jables. I guess I don't know. There's that's that's like one of his. He has like a YouTube maybe that's a nickname like Jabs. Yeah. yeah, I always wonder what that means. Like, hmm. where, where I think just Jable, just like. JB, J Bulls, like I think he just oh, yeah. uh, just fucks around, you know. Uh, yeah. A little, a little Easter egg, maybe. Oh. Yeah, for those of the know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only the real blackheads know. <laughs> uh, I. Mm. <laughs> Are we married to that? <laughs> <laughs> the jack offs? I don't know. <laughs> like it's that. not better. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no, um. But uh, yeah, you know, Meatloaf plays his dad. I think you said that. Yeah. Yeah. That that was uh, it was funny. I was, I was watching my girlfriend as well, yeah. and I was looking at that, and I was like, "That's that's Meatloaf, right?" Because I never really seen Meatloaf yeah. like. R I L. Yeah. <laughs> like I mean, I think the last time I saw Meatloaf was in like last time I watched Rocky Horror. That was same. Literally, and you know he's aged considerably since then. Yes. Uh, when this movie came out, first off, R I P Meatloaf. Yes. Of course. I only knew Chicago him from Fight Club. I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know like what else. Yeah. He's, in, he's in Fight Club? Yeah. His name is Robert Paulson. Oh. That's interesting. Is he like a is he like a key person in that movie? It's not like a key person, but he's like a he's one of the like major characters. Yeah, okay. I thought he was playing like uh Tyler. <laughs> Tyler he's bitch tits bomb. Yeah. 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 Oh, Tyler Durden, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he, that's Brad Pitt. <laughs> I, 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 all timeline. 
Um, okay, so Jables, he's a big fan of uh, some rock star. I don't remember who it was. Uh, Dio. 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 Yes. I was because I want to say he's from. I don't quote me on this, but I want to say he's was a member or is a member of Black Sabbath because there was like okay, that's I, right. I, I, I can look at yeah, because yeah. he was talking to right. um, Kevin Williams and I was like, oh, I know Dio, I know all the guys from Sabbath. Yeah, that's right. So. <laughs> Also, Aiden's the only one who wore like an appropriate shirt yeah. for the event. Uh, I did see the Chili's back in uh, August. Very oh. great show. It was them, Thundercat, and the Strokes. No way! Oh, yeah. oh wow! Yeah, that was, that, well, it yeah. was crazy because it's like I felt very bad for Thundercat uh, because I love Thundercat. Yeah, but like all the people who love the Chili Peppers are not. Very, I don't want to say they don't appreciate them, but like. They're not there for them. No, they're there for yeah. the, the chilies, or maybe some people are there for the strokes. It was like everybody for a different gender, generation. Yeah. So I was like, I was great because I love all three of those bands. The mm-hmm. strokes are one of my favorite bands of all time. Yeah. But, um, I just felt bad because this man, you know, Thunderhead, he's having a great time. He's up there with like, his big guitar. Yeah, and everybody, is, he's a bass player. Bass. So sorry, was, sorry, Thunderhead. Uh, you know, not to be elitist. But, <laughs> but great. I mean, yeah, but he was like, he's going off on Dragon Ball Durag or whatever. He's just, he's having so much fun, and everybody's like, they're like, okay, this is the time to get drinks. This is yeah, the time yeah. Get food. This that's time the problem with openers, you know. It's yeah, like, no matter how good they are, you're not. And I was like, I love you, and especially because yeah. I had a similar experience. Uh, I saw Paramore when my girlfriend got her tickets, and there's a um, uh, there's this uh, artist that like named Genesis Owuso, mm-hmm. and he's from Australia, and he was opening for them, and he makes like. I mean, it's like R and B kind of like rap like hip hop thing, and I'm like, that's a weird group. And like, he walks on stage, he's wearing this giant coat, and then he rips off the coat, and there's three dudes under him. Like he little rascaled them, you know. Like, he little rascaled them. And everyone was like, "What is going on?" And I was like, "No, this goes hard. Like, this is, you guys don't like theatrics. I'm, I'm messing with this." Right? Yeah. Then, You're paying attention now. I love a good stage yeah. presence. And then he did something that I never saw an opener do, uh, or any like. He's like, uh, "I'm gonna be in." Uh, Ferndale and uh and a couple and like uh the fall he goes is that considered Detroit and everyone went no and he said okay we'll never say that again no yeah that's a... <laughs> and I was like I've that's never a right seen... move to make I was like I've never seen um like an opener like ask because you people always like I'm in Detroit and yeah. like it's a different area. and they're the Palace of Auburn Hills yeah right like, <laughs> hard, but, uh, I don't think it was it was like two or not two it was a while ago I think it was like twenty one um. The Lonely Island went on tour, mm-hmm. and I brought my girlfriend to that. And they kept saying, "We're gonna be on the Metro PCS store on Eight Mile, like after the show. We're gonna be at the Metro PCS." And like, I looked it up after the show. I'm like, "There is an at Metro PCS store on Eight Mile." So I'm like, are they actually there? Were they just making a joke? Or you pop I, I should have known. You should have walked around the bench. Just enter the map real quick. So yeah. like, let's check. We're taking a little detour. Just they might. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Today's D came around the same time they did too. Really? Mm-hmm. Like I call them tour. Yeah, their tickets were expensive. Ooh. And with a masterpiece like this, I understand. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yes, of course. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, so this movie, something I noticed like almost immediately, is Jack Black was had he had the soul patch. Yeah, soul patch. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Soul soul patch patch yes. Yeah. yeah. I was like, remember the soul patch? Like, I don't know mm-hmm. why people thought that was like. A thing. It was unique. Yeah, it's my theory is different. My theory is that somebody was in a rush shaving and like they missed it. Yeah, and then like they went out and they just happened to live in like LA. And like that's a really bold it's a statement. Thing. And he's yeah. like, yeah, no, it was on purpose. <laughs> yes, yeah. I totally meant it. <laughs> yes, yeah. 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 the only three people I know that had a soul patch in history is Bruce Springsteen, <laughs> Jack Black, and my father. <laughs> Those are the only three. <laughs> the Holy Trilogy. <laughs> The only three that I know. I have never seen a soul patch out in the wild since my dad took it away. I think Howard Mandel still has one. Does he? Yeah, I think he does. My mom was watching America's Got Talent yesterday, so I I think he still has one. Oh, man. That's interesting. How does facial hair work with the whole germaphobe thing? It's a good, yeah. We should ask. We should. Next time I see Howie. Yeah. Well, I mean... This yeah. may be that dirty, right? I guess. Well, I know it's dirty. This, I can tell you, this, this is oh, yeah. dirty. Yeah. 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 It's the most yeah. clean facial hair, if you think about it, because it's it's touching the least amount of things. You don't get food in it, no. you don't, like, unless you're like stroking it here. But I mean, you can also argue that uh, you know the Charlie Chaplin, Tra- yeah, the Michael Jordan, it is, it is pretty much the Michael <laughs> Jordan. Nobody else in the world. No one else has worn that mustache. I don't know why. No, I think they do worn it before. Yeah, uh, uh, the Charlie Chaplin. Yeah. Oh, uh, back in like the thirties. Okay, back in the thirties. Yeah, uh, that's when it peaked, really. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, it takes a person with like a good amount of power to ruin 
of yeah. facial hair. Yeah. Like, you got to be a real bad dude yeah. to ruin some facial that's, hair. That's crazy. I can't even imagine. <laughs> History. Can you imagine, like, a, a world leader now rocking one of those? Dude. No, I cannot. Because <sighs> I don't think they would be voted in. No. Like, no. Like, like, not just because of... Not just because of you know yeah, the, the, loose the bad stuff, the, the, yeah, <laughs> you know the man, the mustache himself. Yeah. I think that like even if that never happened, uh, and someone were present now with that, they would lose. No, it was always it's mm. always been my philosophy that even if he didn't have that mustache or didn't exist, it would still be weird, and people would still be kind of off put by it. It is a weird I mustache that, because honestly. it's like because it's the rest of the mustache like starts to grow, so you have to continually yeah. shave just the side. Yeah. Yes, it's it's a lot of. Uh, I think it's fashion over function is the term. Yeah. <laughs> or uh, it's uh, like a Worf from Star Trek. I always saw like if you, if he and Worf from Star Trek kissed, their mustache would never touch. <laughs> oh. It's like he has the opposite. Yeah. Almost. He's got like the Fu Manchu thing. Yeah. That, uh, it'd, probably, it'd probably be nice if he had like sensory issues. I never actually <laughs> seen Star Trek, so I can't. I mean, I have, I've seen the J.J. Abrams's. Yeah, That's about okay. it. I saw the pilot for the TV show as well. Wow. Yeah. Boring. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. There's it's a pilot, so it gets a pass, of course. But to be still. They're finding your location right oh, now. Man. Come through. Bad. It's lit. Yeah, I've, always, I've always been a Star Wars man myself, so they can come for me. I think I, what is your phasers going to do against my lightsaber, That's bitch? What, that's what I've been saying for you. Yeah. I rock with you guys. <laughs> don't hurt me. Stupid. You don't even know who Warp is. Nah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I want to learn. Establish that. I'm down to learn. I just don't want to watch the TV show. I watch. Uh, I, I, from what I've learned about Star Trek is from I learned from one episode of Futurama. Oh yeah, and that's it. Good I job. feel that so much. <laughs> and they were they voiced themselves in it. So. That's true. Dude. Oh yeah, that's right. I, Leonard Nimoy would like play his head yeah. in a drum. Yeah, Shatner. Shatner. Another rest in peace. Yeah. So, Oh, right. So many dead people in this episode. Yeah. Scotty. Yeah, let's 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 live it up as someone's alive. Okay, so <laughs> Jables goes to LA. We're getting back to the movie. Okay. <laughs> Jables gets to LA and he sees KG performing as a street performer uh, in Venice Beach. And he's so impressed by it. He's like, this is what I've been looking for my whole well, life. Because he was told by Dio, going yeah. back, sorry. He was like, you're going to meet somebody in Hollywood yeah. that will like... You will be their, their partner, or whatever. It's like it's destiny. It's They're very much alive. a big, you know, destiny. Yeah. Full out, like a kind of like a what's it called, uh, like a hero's journey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We got a little Campbell up in here. Right. But uh, also, when Jack Black ran away, uh, when JB ran away, he yeah. was a child. <laughs> so yes. it took him a very long time to get to like. Because by the time he reached to LA, he is like in his twenties. Yeah. Brady, have you ever walked to LA? Um, I have, <laughs> but I had to turn around when I got to Idaho because I forgot to stretch. Yeah, uh, fair. Like, that'll get you. Yeah, if you don't stretch that, it's a that'll get awful. you. But, yeah. Uh, something I did appreciate is that they didn't even specify which Hollywood, so they did the little yeah. Indiana Jones map thing. <laughs> yeah. where he goes like Hollywood, Florida, Hollywood, Illinois, yeah, yeah, that's Hollywood, what Massachusetts. That's, what they did. that's why it took so long. Yeah, that's why it took so long. Yeah. Yes, I that makes about okay. Yeah, it's years. all yeah. it's all forgiven. It took twenty years to do all that. <laughs> yeah. That's that's that's. That that's a really good bit. <laughs> how how pissed would you be after like the third one? Oh, I'd be living. Yeah. I think I would just ask someone. Yeah. Hey, you know hey. where Hollywood, where musicians are? My poster of Dio said I would beat somebody very famous. <laughs> I'd help him out. Yeah. yeah. Just uh, be. Hey, hop in. <laughs> Hopefully, he's an adult at that point. Yeah. No, like, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So, uh, Kyle. Kyle, says, we meet Kyle. Has long, beautiful hair. And yes. And, the and then they start rocking scales, right? Like the. Yeah. Yeah. That? That's uh, for Elise, I think. Ah, uh, cool. The, the song you played. I was gonna say he did. Yeah. He does uh, like yeah. classical yeah. shit. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Impressive. Yeah, yeah, and then, and 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 they rock and they rock their socks. Yeah. They, they do. Their socks off. That's and like, then, but Kyle's kind of mean about it. He's like, oh, like. Yeah. After no, like, Kyle's no like, no lessons. No yeah. free lessons, bro. Like, see you later. And he's like, yeah. oh, all right. Is very disheartened, but not giving up. Yeah, and um, and they, they meet a man named Lee, who is a pizza driver. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yes. he he loves watching them sing together, and he's a he's recurring their, he's character. Their first, he is the it's canon. Uh, he is Tenacious D's very first fan. Yeah. Oh no, kidding. he's their first stand because he, yeah. he stalks he, them. Too. He makes yeah. the t shirt. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He helps them out a that. lot. Though, yeah, mm. or at least once. Yeah. <laughs> Once is more There's than enough. Really big favor he does. With <laughs> yeah. 
but he's the uh, real one for it. He you know? is. And he's like, I need that for work. I have a pizza delivery driver and, and driver's driver license structure, which, like, I don't know why that was so funny to me, but it's like, that was a great joke. It's like, he's like, why do you have this extra break here? He's like, oh, I, I teach people how to drive while I'm delivering pizzas. We need a spinoff movie for Lee. Yeah, that's what I've decided. That well, that that never came up up again. And we're like, when there was a big chase scene, I was like, this would be the perfect time for yeah, like, to like, use a break the, joke. the passenger break. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's because a lot of like the setups like were concluded yeah, like by the, the end the tail light uh yeah the tail light the really penis tight. push-ups yes yeah. That, yeah. that was just the biggest payoff <laughs> yeah 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 it was really real looking too when it yeah yeah when it gets shown yeah. yeah i was like wow that's i, I i've seen at least one it's that looks actually, like that actual <laughs> penis uh yeah and i was thinking when i was watching this movie it's like it's been like almost 20 years since this movie come out yeah, i'd true. be keen on seeing keen I'd be keen on seeing um, a, a sequel or some sort of like yeah. follow up yeah. of this movie. A, a Absolutely. better call Saul equivalent, but for Lee. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> yeah, no, that, that is interesting because it seems like after this movie, Tenacious D, they went on like tour a lot. They made a couple albums. Yeah, yeah. Uh, And everyone loves Tenacious D. I never met anybody in my life who no. was like yeah. has disliked Tenacious D. Right. Um, yeah. Even people that I thought like they don't know. Like, oh, yeah, no, I like Jack Black. Like, oh, they're like, yeah, that's yeah. Jack Black's band. And yeah. Right. I think yeah. the last thing they did was a couple years ago during the pandemic, they made like an animated. Yeah, I think called, so. like a pop, uh, uh, Apocalypse Go, whatever. Mm, they did that's a, right. uh, not the Mel Gibson movie. No, not oh, no. Mel Gibson's <laughs> they made Apocalypse, Apocalypse Go. Go just yeah, because I was going to say there are other uh, Tenacious D movies. I didn't check them out, but I saw them under like the, you know, was, also in this movie. Or like, was this film everybody's first introduction to Tenacious D? No. No. What was, um, I guess I'll go first. The very first time I ever saw Tenacious D was actually in a little film called Biodome. Okay. Where they don't necessarily play themselves, but they're pretty much playing themselves. Yeah. yeah. They're just in one quick scene where they're just playing guitar in the background and singing about saving trees. Yeah. So that was the first time I was ever like, oh, it's it's young Jack Black and Guy. Yeah. <laughs> mine was a band? No, mine was, um, I forget the name of the game, but Jack Black came out with a game or like he was the star of a game. It was like Rock of Legends or something. Oh yeah. god! And I was like, that's wow. right. I was like, cool. Like, wow, Jack is in a like Jack Black is in a video game. And then I remember my dad at times like, hey, he's also in a band. And I'm like, Jack Black's in a band. Like, what? What does this man not do? He's the coolest guy ever. Yeah. <laughs> and so then that's like when I learned about him. But then like, yeah, then it was just this movie. I guess mm. the first time actually like seeing like the first time I learned about Kevin Gass. I just thought it was all I thought it was all Jack Black. I thought he was a one man show. <laughs> No, uh, mine was, uh, they were coming my Pandora, my comedy Pandora in, uh. in sixth grade. And then I just kind of like, I, I like Jack Black, I like School of Rock. And then I think a couple, like maybe in high school, I found out about, I, I knew about this movie and I watched it and I enjoyed it. And then I found out they had an HBO show. Like oh, really? Yeah, they had an HBO. Yeah, that is what the story. movie was on. That's and what I it is absolutely ridiculous. Like the show is on par with with the movie because really? the movie's more expensive obviously. Yeah. oh yeah yeah like they face the devil in this one like, you do that in the TV show which right. the devil by the way uh, Mr. Dave Grohl Mr. Dave Grohl yes and I was like because I looked it up before and I was talking to my girlfriend I'm like that's Dave Grohl and she's like are you sure and then he goes to the thing on the drums yeah. and she's like no that's him <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Hero himself yeah, yeah. yeah. D. Grohl yeah <laughs> and and prior to becoming the devil he was the host of the music Open mic. Oh, yeah, it was yeah, Paul yeah. Tompkins, pre mustache. Oh Paul yes, Tompkins. Yeah. Paul. Love that Paul. This movie just has some crazy cameos. Yeah. Like, John C. Riley just shows up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Who did I, I write? Or it's like um, it's crazy because it's all these people that if they were in movies now they are like not like well because they I mean they were big at the time but like yeah. now they're like massive mm-hmm. like yeah. Amy Poehler like right. she was still on SNL I think at that time mm-hmm. like just leaving her tenure and then fred armison yeah mm-hmm. i feel like yeah. it's hard to get fred armison for anything like when i found out he was in the mario movie i was like <laughs> wow all right like, yeah, in the mario movie. yeah. I, I knew he was in the mario movie when i went into it but then when i was watching it i was like whose voice is that i yeah. couldn't figure it out <laughs> i had the same Completely problem forgot. yeah but uh, again mario movie uh it's that and then the tenacious d and the pig of destiny where it's jack black and fred armison in the same oh, movie yeah <laughs> the, in the venn diagram that's so, pretty good the connection yeah, yeah. that's wild we get a very young amy adams in this movie as well that's which right. is yeah. a fun little surprise indeed and indeed. i was after I, when i first saw her in the film i was like oh i didn't know she was like in this movie and yeah. the thing is is she's not she's in it for like one frame <laughs> that's it yeah you never see her again yeah. i was and like you, you book amy adams and don't give her dialogue does she have her sag card yet yeah i think this was like right before she became Amy Adams. I can yeah. see it. The pre pre uh, Talladega Nights. Yeah. <laughs> that was the was that the breakout role? I don't think so. 
it enchanted? It was probably enchanted, yeah. yeah. That movie was hard. The first thing I saw her in, I think, was uh, Ricky Bobby. Mine was enchanted, I think. I don't know her. Give her an Oscar, though, you know? She, <laughs> I don't know her. Give her an Oscar. Like, <laughs> I, mean, I love Amy Adams. She's, she's fantastic. She's a smoke show, yeah. yeah. Oh, she's, yeah. she's good in Man of Steel. Yeah. She is. Mm. She is a man of steel. And she's is she also <laughs> Damn. All right, we're having a lot of disagreements. She is, there. She is no there. She is also in the Batman vs. Superman. That's true. Yeah, she's also in that one. I didn't like that one. I like that one. It most didn't. Yeah. It's just very yeah, Batman vs. Superman was just funny. And I feel like it, it wasn't funny on purpose. But with that being said, we love <laughs> Zack Snyder and all of his work. Just say that so people don't like us. I don't dislike it. <laughs> okay. I actually never seen him. I, I, oh, okay. I don't hate him. I don't love him or hate him. I just think he's fine. I think he's fine. The online is like people yeah. kill for him. Yeah, I, yeah. I know it's not that serious for me. Like no, I, yeah. I, I, I liked his cut of the Justice League. Like, he is a man, and you know, I good. can, I can forgive him what he did to Watchmen. Um, I am very much a purist about the. Or the the HBO show they did for Watchmen is actually really good. Yeah, too. I like I, I saw I saw both way later, but I like the show a lot. Yeah, but um, you know he's just a man, and man make man make mistake, to, like Prometheus. Yeah, like you know Zach, Zach Snyder actually did that Justice League cut uh, gave me COVID. <laughs> I got COVID because that came out. Oh, man. It was around the same time, so I believe you. So, yeah, yeah, no. It was uh, Ezra Miller. It was, there were there were two pandemics. <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. Were you in Hawaii at all? No, it was. <laughs> Yeah, he kidnapped me. No, um, he, uh, <laughs> do tell. No, my, Podcast exclusive. I think it, was, it was my sister's birthday or something, and like her, I guess my now brother in law sister came over. I might as well talk. And then she had COVID. And then I got COVID because of the Justice League movie. So I. And <laughs> I did, totally not and related. I didn't even watch the movie. I was upstairs chilling. You're just listening. So I was even more upset. <laughs> you were just I was a close bystander contact. to all this. Guys, yeah. I happened to live in a home with <laughs> Justice League. Yeah. So, you know. Bad, that I never seen that movie out of spite. That, that's I how respect I felt it. About uh, this is very much off topic, but out of spite, that's how I felt about the uh, 2008 Clone Wars because mm. I was a big fan. Oh, of the a, anime one, the animated okay, one. Yeah. They made a 2003 one. The guy. Who I was made say Samurai the two day one. Oh, okay, yeah, one. yeah. Time three. Loved, oh, I love the 2D one. It was one of, I had both. I still yeah. have both DVDs. <laughs> nice. But when I found out that they were like, yeah, this actually didn't happen, and this is like the canon story, I didn't watch that out of spite up until like. Three or four years ago, where it's like, okay, I did miss out. Still upset about it, but like, Clone Wars did go hard. It did. It, it did. I was in high school when yeah. it came out, so I was like, I'm too old for Cartoon Network. And then I binge watched it all when I was like 20. It is kind of crazy <laughs> how I feel like, it, especially recently, how and like it's like this with mostly just cartoons, but also I've kind of seen this with Pokemon. I know you said you weren't a big Pokemon. I'm, I, I I can name 150 one of them. That's impressive. <laughs> um, Start now. I'm so busy right now. Oh. <laughs> Exactly. But, uh, it was like there's this weird dip where it's like you're a kid and you love it, and then you kind of hit this weird middle school thing, and it's like you're too cool for it, or like yeah. early high school, and you get back in like later high school, you get back into it. Like I was playing Pokemon when I was a junior in high school, I'm like yeah, it's oh, that yeah. nostalgia yeah. factor. It's not. It's just that, or it's like it's something to do. Like mm. well, there's I had that, fun. There's yeah. that moment where you're trying to be like I'm too cool for this because people mm-hmm. just act too cool for them. Yeah. I, I just sort of like when I, I brought in fourth grade I bought an album and the chipmunk CD to my lunch room because Was it the first movie? Yeah. Fuck and yeah it goes it was, hard. It was because um, they played music during our lunch period mm-hmm. um, and you can say what song you want to play whatever so I remember I brought album and the chipmunks and I was waiting in line and I didn't tell any of my friends uh, and I had them play you had a bad day. That was that's, that it think. goes hard. Yeah. It's and a great cover. I remember, I remember sitting down and my friends like, Brady, what CD do you bring? I did not. I said, guys, you're going to know. Like, you're you're, so you're going to know. And then me. they played my song. And I remember this this kid came with it. His name was Chris. He stood up. I wasn't friendly. He said to me, he goes, is this the Chipmunks? What in the like, We don't listen to that. And then We was, don't. But then, uh, but then he started throwing food. And everyone oh, else started screaming oh, and throwing no. food. And all my friends were sitting at the table with me, and they're like, "Who brought in the chipmunks? Like, we are in fourth grade. We're too old for that." And I was like, "Probably some idiot." Like, <laughs> well, you started a riot. Yeah, no, yeah, no, did. no. And then, and then I remember at the end of the lunch, like, because they they used to do this thing where I don't know if this happened when you guys were in school, but they made us be silent like for certain times. They made us that's be, called prayer, Brady. Yeah, well, they made us be silent for a whole month during lunch after that, and then can't I, say. When I remember when that lunch ended. 
uh, the lady came up to me with all my friends still. And she went, Brady, here's your CD. And it was Bro. like, it was a Chimmox in the Kango hats, like arms oh, crossed. Yeah, and I had that CD. And I went, thank you. you know? <laughs> and me and my friends never talked about it. And then uh, maybe like five years ago, I was like, do you guys remember me doing that? And my buddy Don was like, dude, that was one of the funniest things <laughs> I have witnessed in my life. Uh, I said, that was insane. I have a very similar story to that, but instead of having it, uh, having it happen in, you know, uh, middle school, it happened like two months ago. Um, so uh, one of the bars I'd go out, I just graduated from college, but uh, my friends and I would go out to this bar and they have like one of those, I don't know if, I haven't seen them around here just because I haven't been around to the bars here recently, but uh, they have like, it's like a jukebox that you can play music through your phone. Mm. Oh, yeah, and they yeah. have a certain selection of songs you can play. Yeah. And so one day, like I'm with my friends, we're, you know, fooling around at the bar and we're like, what, what songs can we play? What's funny? They have wheels on the bus. <laughs> like a nurse, like by it's like the Sesame Street nursery round. I'm, like, I'm gonna like I'm gonna play some wheels on the bus, and so I do. And like later, you know, you start hearing that wheels on the bus go around and around. And this guy, like in the stool, like across from us, he's like, "Who is who's playing this?" Like he was like very viscerally upset. He's like, "I want to like I'm gonna find whoever's playing this. I'm gonna kick their ass." And I'm like, yeah, yeah, who, who did that? <laughs> who, I, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. And then we just, yeah, same thing. Just never talked about it again. Because it was unreasonably loud. <laughs> like, louder than most of the songs that play in a bar should be. Okay. What a loser. Who's going to fight someone over wheels in the bar? Was For he serious? He was, he was very He was very inebriated, very serious. I was going to say, how late in the night was the song? Oh, was he, was he drunk? This was like, yeah, like. One. And that's how we met. <laughs> <laughs> We've been friends ever since. I was livid. Yeah. I was having a great time. I love yeah, it. We had a thing like that at my school, but my my friends thought it'd be funny to play Lil Tay K, <laughs> the, the Chase, which was a song. He's like a rapper who murdered I can someone. I feel myself wrote aging. an album about how he murdered someone and, and escaped. And, <laughs> or it's called, yeah, I think it's called The Chase. Have you guys heard of this? I have not. No, no, his name is Lil Tay K. Um, I know a little Tay. I beat the, beat the case. <laughs> Where I nut shorty face or something like that. That's why. Yeah. That's assault. Everyone yeah. check out that's Lil like... Tay. <laughs> Shout out to Lil Tay. Yeah, give him a I think bottom. he's still in prison, but <laughs> we'll go to him. We'll, we'll go, go to, to a destination. Yeah, we do. I'll, I'll I'll pay the collection call. Yeah. Yeah. Joe Exotic can do phone calls. I'm sure it's I'm that's sure it's possible. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot about him. It's no, yeah. Everyone exists. <laughs> yeah, everyone exists. That's such a, he's, he, he's in such a cavern of my mind for the. March of yeah. uh, the beginning of the pandemic. Oh, yeah, it was so. just for me. It was kind of like a one-hit wonder thing. It's like oh, oh, I, I also don't think about uh, who's a one-hit one. Uh, trying to think of a one-hit wonder. I'm blinking. That's Hanson. That's thing. Hanson, I guess. Sure, I think Chris Hanson. I mean, no, I would not. I what would is Chris Hanson? What, 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 what has he done wonder. since then? Chris Hanson. Tax evasion. He he came to this restaurant that I I used to work at. And he called to make a reservation. He said, this is NBC's Chris Hansen. And I was <laughs> he said like, the thing. What he said the thing. I was like, dude, like you say that just to get a reservation? I would, and, honestly. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> why not? No, then, then, then did he say, uh, take a seat right over there? And he came out with the camera. Crew. Yeah. And then, That's when, what I would have told them when he when arrived. He showed up. When he came in, I, I, I did the thing where I told everyone, like, oh, he's here for you. And then nobody knew who he was. And so no one got it. But <laughs> I, I was like... I, never mind. You catch his pedophile, whatever. <laughs> I, you wouldn't get it. Yeah. Rashid Wallace was a regular at my like. I used to work in a bowling alley when I was in college. And he would. Uh, he was just there like every few oh, yeah. Saturdays or so. I love Rashid Wallace. Yeah. He was. He was nice. He was there with like his family and friends and stuff. Uh, um, can't say I interacted with him much, but seemed you know good, was, good okay. I, that, all my coworkers liked him, so that's enough for me. That, that Pistons team has my heart. So. I, oh I yes, that was. Wallace, yeah. I yeah. think Bill Wallace is kind of a dick. If you, the few times I know people who've met him. Ben Wallace? Ben Wallace. Oh, what the fuck am I talking I was going to say, Bill Wallace jersey, is that his father. So, yeah. <laughs> better be nice to me. I'll be so sad. I can't say I've ever met Ben Wallace. <laughs> I, I want to be Ben Wallace. <laughs> Same with Alan Iverson. I've heard he's kind of addicted. But, I mean... He's, I mean, I think Alan Iverson is a misunderstood star. <laughs> he's a torture. I say soul. the same thing about Dennis Rodman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, people understood Dennis Rodman, which was weird. Like, yeah, yeah. They, they, like, they got, got it from the get-go. Like, yeah, we sort of party for like... Uh, we, we got him after it, every party 48 hours. And then, we just well, got it out of his system. We won no championship. What's, what's crazy about Dennis Rodman is that he's like the unofficial ambassador to North Korea. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like he's the only person they willingly let in and out of that country. Yeah, he so is. like, what does he know? What he is, is legit he? friends with Kim. Yeah, like, he's actually Kim's a like, he gets fan. me. He's a right. yeah. huge basketball fan. Mm. 
guy. They actually like I, the rules. I watched a video about the rules that in North Korea. Yeah, that's right. And it's like a dunk. Yeah. like a you get like three. I think you get like six points if you dunk. <laughs> Something like that, and it's like insane. They, they have he's like never lost a game before. I was gonna say, I hear he has an incredible golf record. Yeah, yeah. You know, I watched a, I watched a video of Fidel Castro playing basketball. How'd that go? And, oh, it was so funny because no one wanted to guard him. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know yeah. to go hard or not. But he was cooking. Hey, I, I'll, I'll give him that. He was in his bag. Like he had a little bag. Going, like he was cross people over. I love shit like that. I don't know if this is real, but there's a there's a thing on the internet that I love. It's Osama bin Laden singing Poker Face on karaoke. Oh, I, I don't think it's real, but if it is, it would be a fucking treat. You know, he was... Uh, a terrorist? Yes. yes. Yeah. Was. He was also <laughs> insanely really? tall. That idea. Yeah, yeah I heard that. So, so, he was well over six. Yeah. You know, he could have been in the league. <laughs> Okay, this, this last thing I'm going to say, and then we're going to get back to the movie. Yeah, have this you guys seen the video cover. of Stevie Wonder shooting a free throw? <laughs> I have. How does it go? <laughs> I have coworkers in radio who swear by, like, on their lives that they have seen and met Stevie Wonder, and that he is not fully seeing. Some will say faking it. Others will say exaggerating. I love. People. <laughs> Just show them that free throw shot. Maybe he could have been faking that. Didn't make it. No. No. Of course not. I have. Of course. You still make those half court shots behind the back. That's a good time. point. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's probably never like shot a basketball before. You know, probably not. I'll train. I wasn't trying to assume anything because it was he right. probably can't send a PDF either. So, <laughs> okay, Tenacious D in the Pick of Destiny. Yes. Um, there are cameos in one scene specifically. I wanted to cover before yeah. we move on. Mm-hmm. There's a party scene that Kyle's leaving, and then he gets a drink thrown at him. Yeah. We get two cameos in this one shot. We get a, one Colin Hanks. Yep, that's right. Uh, you know, Chet Hanks's younger, famous brother. <laughs> Or lesser famous, not younger. I don't know who's older. And then we get <clears throat> Jason Segel. Uh-huh. Yeah. Before I think before pretty much most things. I mean, post Freaks and Geeks, obviously. Yeah. But just kind of hanging out at a party. Just fun little cameos everywhere in this movie. I will say this was my least favorite scene in the movie. I hate scenes in the movies where the characters like separate or like are in a fight. Yeah. yeah. Those scenes because it's like you know what's gonna happen. Like you know they're gonna get back together mm-hmm. or whatever. Same thing happens. The little rascals. Same thing happens in Pineapple Express. Same thing happens in Finding Nemo. Every fucking movie, there's a scene where they split up, and then they have. I get it's like thematic, whatever, mm-hmm. but yeah, to me it was just like there was no reason for because the scene was only like five minutes, and then yeah. Kyle comes to meet up with Jack. So mm-hmm. it's like there well, was. They had, they, I'm pretty sure the mushroom scene was integral to the pop plot of the movie because that's how he even got to the. the that's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, music. I guess he that had is. To be on those mushrooms. So yeah, he had to. Ride John C. Riley's back. Yeah, that's that right. was, as that one was, does. As one does. That that scene might be peak cinema. That might be. <laughs> that's what Scorsese dreams about. I think so. <laughs> Actually, I think he'd love it. Yeah. Yes, it was meant to be watched on a phone or a Nintendo DS. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that was. It's funny because that's a, such a perfect role for John C. Riley. Like, you oh, know, totally. Right. That, and I'm like, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I was like, anybody else would be like. I, He's right. the perfect person to play Sasquatch. Right, yeah. Boogie Nights, totally changeable. <laughs> but yeah. the, this guy, Bigfoot, no. I do, I do feel bad because it's like the only way I can describe him as um, he's the other guy from Step Brothers. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, because my girlfriend's like, who is that? I'm like, it's the other. It's, the, it's not Will Ferrell. She's like, oh. Never have I been more insulted in my life when someone compared me to him, like, based on looks. I was like, Ouch. thanks. And someone's and like every time I tell that story, someone's like, "Oh, he's not a bad looking guy," but then I have to go, "He's not a great looking guy." Yeah. Like, <laughs> he's great. In, uh, don't defend walk them. Hard. He's yeah. walk oh, hard. walk hard is so fucking funny. That might be. I've not seen. Speaking of well, musical comedy, yeah, no, no, we're we're gonna talk about walk hard oh, later. Oh, perfect. Like in a different video. Oh, in a different yeah. video. Perfect. Yeah. Sorry. TBD. No, to be okay. continued. But um, uh, John, did you guys hear about like? Will Ferrell and Adam McKay's like fallout because of John C. Riley. No, yes. no do yes. tell. This was so um, Adam McKay is producing this show on HBO called Winning Time or something like that. Okay, about Michael. Jo- no, about Magic Johnson. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah. And he cast. Um, he was going to cast Will Ferrell, and Will Ferrell really wanted that lead role, but he gave it to John C. Riley, and they haven't spoken to each other in years because of it. Really? Uh, I'm yeah. assuming this is post Step Brothers. This, this is, is post. Like, this yeah, is post. This is, like this is post yeah. Sherlock Holmes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, great movie. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I saw that in theaters. Sherlock Holmes. Uh, I actually liked it a lot. Yeah. I know that that movie was like horribly. 
Liam and I did an episode of the podcast, which I've since deleted, uh, but <laughs> lost media. Yeah. Just so we're talking but, Will Ferrell, John C. Riley one, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Was that called, called like Holmes and Watson? Or Holmes, something? Yeah. Holmes and Watson. Yeah. My yeah. apologies. It, Sherlock Holmes is Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. I thought that movie was hilarious. Really? Okay. Yeah. I had fun. They were like trying fun to is good enough for me. With the cam- like a big camera, and then they accidentally killed the queen. And uh, <laughs> they did do that. Yeah. I forgot that even happened. That, oh, that was a good movie. That sounds oh, silly. Tenacious Rest D in is the queen. Rest, right, another one. Yeah, nah. another one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Robert Queen. Yeah, I've never met her. Fuck the um, monarchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, when I, the day the the day that she she died, I was wearing a Sex Pistols shirt. I'm like, this is very fitting. Yeah. <laughs> So. Okay, the movie, uh, what's it called? Pick, Pick a Destiny. 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 Mm. Um, they had tattoos on their butts. Not tattoos. They had birthmarks on their butts. Butt marks, out. I believe is what yeah. they called. Butt yeah. marks. The film. That spelled out Tenacious D. I was like, that's pretty clever. That is good. I yeah. was also like, it literally like they seared, that was seared into them. Yeah. By yeah. Some <laughs> like, that, like, I was like, that doesn't look. It doesn't look good. That, that looks Organic. <laughs> Kevin Gass had a uh, male pattern baldness from like six. <laughs> yeah, right, that's yeah. right. Yeah, and then yeah, like it's an origin story. Yeah. And I thought because of Jack Black's origin story being long, well, his was longer than. <clears throat> oh, again, Josh. What's his name? Kyle. Kyle. I almost called him Josh for some reason. <laughs> uh, yeah, Kyle's like little child origin story was only like thirty seconds long, where yeah, Jack yeah. Black's was like a whole musical yeah. sequence. I was like, oh, he doesn't get a, he doesn't fuck those two bullies up or anything. Yeah, that was, no. that was he, a bummer. But then they never talk about it again. Yeah. Uh, true. Very true. It's from rock stars. Yeah, exactly. Right. The- and where are those bullies? It doesn't matter. So so <laughs> what is the Pick of Destiny? So the Pick of Destiny, it, I believe that it was like a, a, some guy wanted to like impress this chick. So he made like a guitar pick out of one of Satan's teeth. So, Correct. Yeah. yeah. So what happened was, I remember that because it's such a funny story. So this guy was like, practice, he was summoning the devil or whatever. Yeah. And the devil comes up and he's like, I'm gonna fuck your shit up. And then a blacksmith hears and he throws like a horseshoe or something and it hits Satan mm. in the tooth and yeah. it chips off and then he, you know, casts the spell that they use later in the movie. It's like until you're whole again, you know, from whence you came. And then he's like, Hey, to thank you, I'll make you a nice pick for your loot so you can yeah. impress the ladies and then it got passed on throughout I don't even know how it got passed on from the guy, to be honest. The first yeah, time. it just somehow ended up in Van, Eddie Van Halen's hands. Yeah, it ended up yeah. Eddie, Van, Eddie Van Halen and Tim Robbins from mm. Shawshank Redemption plays like a yeah. decrepit old man yeah. who's like trying to steal it. I love the joke when he's like, "I'm going to stab you guys," and then they're like, <laughs> "Just run away, stay right where you are, yeah. don't move." <laughs> like that's funny. Yeah, then, like, then the police show up and he's like, "Try and catch me." <laughs> Very silly. This movie was really short. I, I, it was, it yeah. was a good ninety-four minutes, I believe. Yeah. That's like a ninety-minute movie is a beautiful time for a comedy. It's perfect. Yeah. Like there should no longer, no shorter. Yeah. Ninety minutes is how it should be. Yeah. Every single time. Because I think because Zoolander's ninety minutes. Mm. You know what was a really good recent comedy? You guys ever seen Good Boys? I did. Yeah. I, I haven't seen it. No. I, I I really like it. Good Boys. Yeah. Good Boys is one of those movies that some people just didn't see, but you everyone should. So yeah. I guess, yeah, I I I recommend at least one watch. It's very it's a very silly okay. time. That yeah, it's like super bad, but like slightly before. Uh, yeah, I do love super bad. It's yeah, it's it's, it's super yeah, no, it's super bad ish. It's pretty much super bad for like middle schoolers. Yeah, yeah, but it's yeah. it's so it's so it's, it's so it's so silly yeah, and funny. Favorite, if, I, if you ask what my favorite movie theater experience is, it's me seeing Good Boys at midnight and just <laughs> having a movie. It wasn't when you cheered when you saw George Clooney in The Flash. <laughs> I didn't that see was why. Oh, okay. George Clooney Good was save. in The Flash. George Clooney was in The Flash. Yeah. He's in the very last scene. I, yeah. think that's, I think that's why they were so adamant on releasing it because, like, you drop George Clooney money, like, you got to at least try. Was it actually George Clooney? It was literally George Clooney. It was literally George Clooney. He didn't the whole even shave movie. His beard. That bothered me so much. The whole movie ends with so Michael, Michael Keaton's Batman at some point. So the movie ends with all that resetting. It's George Clooney is now Batman. Yeah. Like it's George Clooney universe. <laughs> is George Clooney now like the new Batman? No. no. Uh, no that's kind of highly, crazy. highly unlikely. <laughs> did, did people hate his Batman? Yeah, yeah. They that's why him. he came back and for it. Had nipples, or was that Val Kilmer? He yeah. had nipples. They both yeah, did. I think it was both. Didn't both have? I'm pr- I feel like they both did. Maybe I think people. Uh, Rose Clooney for the nips more. So that's yeah, what I, was, I was gonna say Chandler. Batman and Robin had Batman, Robin, and Batgirl nips, so there was definitely more. Do you think his George Clooney's like too good looking that people might have 
happy for this movie. No. <laughs> no. Because to me, he does fit the Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Part yeah. Of, uh, okay. Rich. I think he did a Silver Fox like, good Bruce Wayne stuff. I still haven't seen the movie. But I have seen yeah. like clips of it. But... I, I grew up with the movie. I had a, yeah. there's a t shirt I think in my like kindergarten picture I'm wearing a Batman and Robin t shirt. Yeah. Um it really wasn't his fault. He show, he showed up and did what he had to do, which as Bruce Wayne at least is not much, yeah. just wear a suit. As Batman, truly those Schumacher movies aren't that physically demanding compared to like everything we see today. So I I think that mostly fell on like directors i the biggest problem was that they were trying to make toys before they even released the movie they were yeah. just like we need a toy movie period okay. and then i think everyone else just had to kind of work around that okay yeah i mean the, I, I i would disagree with that the biggest thing that bothered me about the nolan movies was the action wasn't great i i wasn't really thinking of nolan when i was like now at same time yeah, nowadays I guess, honestly because yeah. I, I would agree with that they're just like you get an explosion here and there and then you just get christian bale playing like yeah yeah <laughs> yeah just throw his shoulder like, yeah yeah <laughs> I, I really wanted to make a Batman movie, spoofing Batman movies, but in the Adam West universe. Another rest in peace. <laughs> like, like you know, like it's like the same outfits, you know, but just as corny and as absolutely ridiculous as possible. Batman goes back to its roots, you know, yeah. without making it too gritty. Make it absolutely ridiculous. Mm. I think that, that. I think that's what the problem. That's what some people had a problem with when it came to those like the Schumacher movies specifically, because they were kind of trying to do a little bit of that. They were they trying to want full send it though. Right, they they were like, let's make it dark and serious or whatever, like Burton had done, but let's still make it fun and like cartoon like mm -hmm. kind of, because because in certain parts of those two movies, Batman Forever and Batman and Robin, there are very like there's like sound effects that are very cartoony. Yeah, mm. yeah, I suppose this is all this to the wall, like costumes and everything. Oh, I would watch the fuck out of that. I think that would be really good. Well, then who would be James Gunn? Hit me up. And it's going. Is it going full camp or is it like taking itself seriously? No, I think okay. it good. should be. It should be because they're making two more of the. Batman movies. Nice. So they should make the second one like normally and then have that one be the third one. Yeah. Just he out. enters he enters West Era. No, that just starts out like that. He's just already like a silly boy. <laughs> yeah. I like that. I do too. That's good. We're going to save the DCEU. Yeah. So. We're going to do it so much justice to be so, Snyder cut. But we're gonna wait Snyder. until the strike is over. <laughs> yes, exactly. we're not yes. exactly. Yeah. We're not gonna do that. No, I'm I'm not employed by anything. So <laughs> I do have a question for you guys about uh, the Tenacious D movie. Of yes, which song let's get back to the. Most? Oh, jeez, that's a toughie. I really liked yeah. I really like the opening number. I like the opening one honestly, too. Yeah. yeah, opening number is great. It's the, just epic. The tale of Tenacious D, or like the story of Tenacious D, what they do at the open mic night. Yeah, yeah that also great. One. Um. The, the battle with Satan, the one they don't even remember. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. that's the whole thing. I, you know, they have that, Tenacious D's biggest song is Tribute, right? When they yeah. talk about, you know, that they play a song, but they forgot it, right? They wrote yeah. a whole song about it, right? Um, well, I, it's such a bummer that that's not in the movie. But also, they tease it. Did you guys see the after scene credit? Oh, no, oh I didn't. Was, I didn't think there would be one. Yeah. Oh, this well, was never mind. The after scene credit is just them doing a voicemail song, but instead... Mm. Kyle gas farts and then they just skip it. But I don't know why I brought that up. I thought that was it's towards the end of the movie. They're like, oh well, it's like in the same shot, but it's like they're sitting there and they're like, what are we? They started like, where did that song go? And I wish that that was the closing song was the tribute, was like the credit song. Uh, I feel yeah. like that would have been was that was song. that after the credits? I feel like that was like before the credits because I do feel no, like it was like right at the end of the movie because remember they're sitting down and they're like, yeah, that's a pretty good yeah. song. Yeah, mm. like, how, okay, how so I didn't see that. I didn't know if it was. I and then well, I, I got to run. Every single was like completely different. It was just yeah. shot oh, okay. the same okay. what the ending of the movie was in. Okay. But um, I just wish that like the tribute would have been such a good credit song for that movie. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I just think that I, I feel like they really missed an opportunity there. Unless the song wasn't created yet, which I pretty no, sure it was. it was. It was one of their first songs. I, I yeah. Believe. I wonder if there's possibly like a rights issue, maybe, maybe wait, like wait, a pre. Made, 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 made. That's that's why I'm like I'm not married to this idea, but maybe. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that would that would have been good, and you could have had like pictures of them like. Mm. Doing and stuff. That, right. That would have been really funny. You know, yeah. there was an alternate ending where they go to live with Lee and they make him like an unofficial member of Tenacious D. Oh. Um, and he's like, oh, like, where's my car? And they're like, oh, yeah, your car is fucked. But you, you get to be a member of Tenacious D. And then he gives him a hug and he's so happy. And, you know, that's, yeah. Did yeah. that not test well with audiences or something? I guess not. Or it, that was really cool. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think it, I think, I don't know why. I don't know. Yeah. I really yeah, should have done my they, research. They definitely should have brought it up again. Like, yeah. They just ruined my man's life. Right. Like, 
<laughs> like that was both his first and second job. Yeah. Just, yeah. Like, <laughs> they pulled the Ninja Turtles and, and and got out of the car and into the sewers before the police could get them. <laughs> I got a good laugh out of that. I'm yeah, like, they're yeah. in this. Okay. <laughs> I, I buy of all the things in this movie, I buy. I'll definitely buy that. Yeah. <laughs> Very plausible. <laughs> Um, if they if they did make a sequel to this movie, where would you guys where would you guys want to see these uh, these two go? Uh, well, they went to the Rock and Roll History Museum in mm-hmm. Cleveland. That's in Cleveland. Cleveland, no, that's the I had this I had the same conversation with my girlfriend because that was my thing. I was like, oh, that's actually in Cleveland. That's the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Um, I think the History Museum is something different. Oh, oh okay. Well, the sequel, there you go. Yeah, that's there what I'm saying. There you go. Yeah, they go to the big pyramid. Because I assume the same thing. Yeah, they get inducted and then they have to face the, the devil comes back and tries to tries to take the the, the the bong of destiny. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was thinking because um, uh, the Keanu Reeves movie, uh, Bill and Ted, mm. it had a similar sort of like uh, sequel, like in the past few years, mm-hmm. but it's like they're grown men now and mm-hmm. they're trying to write the song that's going to save the world. Um, so I was thinking that's probably if they were to make a sequel to this, that would probably be the direction they want to yeah. go or something like that. Um, where it's like they, I don't know. Do you guys want them to be successful like in the future, or do you think they'd still be like? I think if ooh, it's, it's a toughie, if it follows the same kind of beats as uh, every sequel made thirty years after the original, they got to be like past their prime, trying yeah. to get back into it, and then like, yeah, a I, new tenacious date. I, I, I think it'd be funny if they had like. If the movie starts and they have like insane beef, like a like, like insane like, yeah. like a fallout, like, yeah, like okay. something happened, and then you know whatever journey they go on, they fix it. You know, I mean that's yeah. like a classic, I guess, kind of. Yeah, for that. it could I be like they could have done well with that. Like a uh, Kyle has like a Yoko Ono like type yes. lady, and yep. then, yeah, and then they're like break apart and then someone like sees Jack at a bar and he's like oh where'd you tenacious D he's like I don't talk about that anymore yeah he yeah. has the uh, he has the butt mark laser removed yeah oh yeah. no he's fully sold into it <laughs> and then and then the and then the the movie they reconnect and then maybe they go on a reunion tour and yeah and mm-hmm. like that. yeah dude we should fucking make this movie Come and on. then they yeah. just and then they just used footage from the tour they did a couple of years ago yeah exactly yeah. Yes. now they do though I think they definitely have to face the devil again yeah, yeah. oh so for like, sure there are arch- Nemesis. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, David yeah. Is and there. yeah, I would love to see that. Also, again. the Satan makeup was fantastic. It really, it really yeah, was, I, yeah. I, I, yeah, it did. Like, you could not tell it was Dave Grohl. No, not know. at all. Yeah. Same with, like, honestly, even with, like, Ben Stiller's hair. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> his hair like, was fucking insane. Who the fuck is that Ben Stiller? Yeah, no, that's, that's, yeah. that's the reaction like, I had. Like, the makeup burgers. was really, really good <laughs> yeah. in this movie. Like, yeah. you know. I don't know what their budget was, but their whoever did makeup really. Or uh, like the uh, the scene where it's like the uh, dream that Jack's having. It's like when they yeah. get the pick and you know, you oh get yeah, money for open night night, and it gets more like increasingly more and more like elaborate with their makeup and costumes to the mm. point where he blows a guy's mind. Right. right. Oh yeah. That was right. all. Like that looked all practical. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. It was very was really impressive. Yeah, that was very. Impressive. I was thinking practical during effects. that scene, it was funny because Jack was like in like rocker gear. And then Kyle was just in a Kalamazoo t-shirt <laughs> yeah. for like a while. And, and he got his rocker gear too. But I was just like, he's just rocking his K-Zoo shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta represent. You know, a, a thing too I thought this movie really grasped is like how brutal open mic nights <laughs> oh, <man>. are. <laughs> I feel like... like they I was captured glad, it per- beautifully. <laughs> yeah, I was really glad to see everyone not caring and like yeah. listening and just upset that they're here. And I'm like, that is spot on, baby. It is. Yeah. That's a great night for comedy. <laughs> Pretty okay crowd for an open mic. It was honestly it was a good amount of people there. Yeah. Well, granted, you know, I never went to a music open mic. I can't say I have either. But I've had a few thrust upon me. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say I, <laughs> unwillingly. Yeah, yeah. I've never, I've never been to any, but I feel like they. I guess they would have more than stand up because they have bands. So like, mm, they yeah. at least be because it's like several people there. Yeah, I feel like you can. It's harder to ignore. Like you can't have background stand up. I feel you know you can have background music. Oh, on the contrary. Really, again, like, I'm not a stand-up. When I when I first started comedy when I was 17, my hometown asked me to do a show at a farmers market, and uh, I wrote like 30 minutes. That's that's what I used to do. I used to write 30 minutes and just do my own shows. Uh, and so I wrote like a new 30 minutes, and they had no chairs. It was just, I was surrounded by fruit, and everyone was like looking at it. And I was doing my material, and no one was listening. Uh, and so I just kind of started to like, if someone grabbed like a peach, I'd be like, that's a good one. Just get that one. So I just gave up. I'm like, no. 
for like 30 minutes and just like yeah. did uh, they pay you no 17 they didn't <sighs> they didn't pay me until i was i haven't the last show i did in my hometown i was it was two years ago and they i made them pay me <laughs> Good. i mean i did a halloween show for them and uh that was cool but um open yeah, mic after night after i hit once after I can start traveling, I was like, I'm not doing stand up in my hometown anymore. <laughs> I can't keep doing this. My uh, junior year of high school, I was part of our uh, high school's uh, video production club. I was the mm. uh, co vice president. I got, uh, the president said if I joined, he would make me co vice president. I'm like, all right, cool. Mr. Co vice president? Exactly. Thank you. I have that on my resume still. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it was, uh, we had to do like a commercial or something for the school. And so we come in, we come in, and it's like, you know, late June we've already been out for a couple of months or a couple of weeks and so like we're all back and we're like it's this whole day production thing and we're like we're you know the president's there like hey we're getting paid for this and he's like no yeah we're getting paid so then like <laughs> right after that a few days later I'm like hey uh Mr. President what's the uh <laughs> what's the situation on the on this payment and he's like oh uh yeah the, the principal said he's not gonna pay us I'm like you better fix this and so he's like oh, I'll talk to him I'll talk to him like a month later I get a I get a letter in the mail from like you know, with my high school's like you know logo and everything on it. It is a crisp check for thirty dollars. Oh <laughs> yeah. hell yeah! I know it was just very funny because like nothing like I heard nothing since. Yeah. So he's like, I'll talk to him. And it's like thirty dollars. I still have the check. I did like the the you know you yeah. take a picture of it, mm. and deposit it. I still have it just because it's like yeah, those checks are always cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It has our uh, the old uh, president's signature on it. Who he's <laughs> no longer there. Rip. No, he's not dead. He just moved. Yeah, just, oh, well. No, he just left. For the died. future. He was, a, he was a Jesuit, so he got called to do something else. You, you got to hit them up and be like, hey, like, where's my royalty checks for this? Yeah, I'm like, you're still, <laughs> Royalty checks still in 2023. <laughs> if they're still using the commercial. That'd be wow. hilarious. Yeah. All right. This movie, we've been going for like an hour. We're gonna <laughs> start to wrap it up. Um, yeah, th- this movie, since it did so badly, I guess like... They were like really depressed about it, and they wanted to stop like touring and like being tenacious to you. Wow, that is a bummer. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's sad. Because I feel like again, it's it's a cult, it's a cult movie. Yeah. Now, but it's like at the same time when you try, because when I again when I see Jack Black like yeah. as tenacious D, like when I watch this movie, I'm like I feel like he didn't want to make like a serious like blockbuster hit. Yeah. He just wanted to have some fun. Like be kind, rewind. Listen, <laughs> I, have, I have a beef with Be Kind Rewind. I did too. I turned it off. No, mine was I have a list. I have a list of movies on my letterbox called um, movies we started watching, and then um, that my dad turned off thirty minutes later because he said they weren't appropriate, and that's one of them. Oh, no way. It's oh, okay. One. It's Click, and then it's Drill Bit Taylor. Those are like the three movies. I've never seen Drill Bit Taylor. Click, but, uh, cry as a kid. Dude, Click is I depressing. Watched, I watched Click this past summer, and I was like, "Oh, this is sad." It's like, very I sad. It was the funny. Also, Adam Sandler. did not age. Some of the jokes did not age. No, no it did not. Not at Jeez. all. I, I watched it like with my girlfriend the other day. I was like, "We should watch Click," and she never. It's, it's not every streaming service that. Oh, that was my water bottle. It's that every. It's not like every streaming service. Like once, like if it doesn't go to HBO, then it's on Netflix. On Netflix, yeah. on Netflix. Like, it, pra- it bounces around. And I was like, we should watch Click. She's like, no, they watch it. And I was like, maybe we should turn off Click. I was like, I can't. I was like, I don't want my memory to be tainted. It's a real collar um, tugger, yeah. If I remember I cried, I bawled my eyes on the movie at my grandparents' house. God, it, it has no reason to be that sad. And then it is sad. Uh, Drew Bit Taylor, I think it's, um, I know Josh Peck, Josh Peck is in it. Um, he's a bully, which is really funny because uh, this is coming off the heels of uh, Drake and Josh. Yeah. But uh, It's also a bully in Oppenheimer. Yeah, exactly. Everybody's in that movie. (laughs) Um, But he's like, it's this. I want. It's either Owen Wilson or a guy that really looks like Owen Wilson. Is like Wilson. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Is like uh, he like dropped out or like he went AWOL in the army or something. He's like trying to teach these kids who are getting bullied to defend themselves, and it's like this whole thing. It's very. It's again. It's just one of those movies where. Like it wouldn't mean anything to me if I just watched it and if it's in its entirety back in like 2008. But the fact that it was like, no, we need to stop watching this and take it back to Blockbuster because this is inappropriate for you. I have like a serious like, all right, I need to see this movie again. Like, <laughs> it's like a forbidden fruit. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the forbidden fruit of Drillbit Taylor. <laughs> So anything else about the nation's deep? Yeah. Uh, there was a Clockwork Orange like gag. That's right. Yeah. That was yeah, that's very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy because I was like talking to my girlfriend. She's like, 
I'm like, have you ever seen Clockwork Orange? And she's like, no. I'm like, it's, mm. Were they going to rape Jack Black? That's what I honestly <laughs> thought. I saw this movie as a child and did not see Clockwork Orange then. But yeah, I've like, seen it since and watching it t- again I today, I was, I was like. Yeah, like, uh. yeah it was stressful. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. I was like, I've, I, I know what happens with games like this. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's never pleasant. It's actually canon for Clockwork Orange that this happened. <laughs> Clockwork Orange and Tenacious D are in the same universe. That was like a big yeah. controversy that they appeared in the last Space Jam movie. That was cool. they did. Yeah. Oh yeah, because like, it was, it was all the WBs. Like what they did, it's a controversy of like what the hell do you like? What right do they have to be there? Besides yeah, that? Man, they just want to watch LeBron and Bugs. They're just crazy. IP. I th- I was gonna say they had the they had every right to be there as much as Arnold Schwarzenegger's Mr. Freeze had every right to be there because yeah, he's well, also in point. that movie. Was it the yeah. mask there too? Just I think so. Right? Yeah, everyone was at that game. Yeah, the mask killed a lot of people. Really <laughs> he sure did. So, <laughs> but he was funny when he did it. Yeah. That's that's what makes it okay. Yeah. He was also green. These guys <laughs> weren't funny <laughs> when they raped that. <laughs> Super weird side tangent. Yeah. I watched a The Mask fan film last night. Oh, no. Hey. It's called... It's tragically not called Return of the Mask, which I think is a missed opportunity. Uh, it's uh, Revenge of the Mask. <clears throat> it's just another dude finds the mask and pretty much gets the same powers as Stanley Ipkiss and kills like... Uh, just a bunch of people, like a guy who like beats his wife up and shit because he owed her, he owes them money, so he took it out on her. Like it was interesting. Thirty five minutes of my life, hmm. and they make this company is Check interesting. Check them out. It was yeah. it was actually it was much better than I anticipated. And the same company makes like a, they made like a Jumanji prequel short film. They made um, I, th- I thought so as well. There's they had a Justice League one, but I didn't really look at it. Hmm. And I was like, I didn't know you can get away with this. Yeah. You just as long as you say if it's, it's a fan film, yeah, I think you're it's, away. It's, yeah. yeah, very much fan this, film. This is a. I don't even go back to Clock of Orange, but <laughs> I, I, I have never seen a fan film I, of that. I don't remember that movie well at all. Actually, now that I think about it, but wasn't there a sequel to that movie or a book, a sequel book or something? I think uh, it's based, based on, on a book. I know that much. Okay, is that book a series or something? Not that I don't believe really so. I thought there was a sequel to that movie. I, mm, maybe there is. Maybe it's it's like could be. Movie. Maybe they, the sequel could also is just be. Alex goes out into the world and he's normal. Yeah. The sequel <laughs> is. Just, yeah. I, I only remember. Wasn't milk a thing in that movie? Somehow yeah, milk is a thing. There was like a milk know. bar. They okay. A bar to drink. I don't remember that movie well. Maybe he just goes on to become the principal at, at, the, at the high school in Easy A. Because it's still <laughs> Malcolm McDowell. Oh, yeah, that's right. That, <laughs> so. that movie made me and is a teacher in fall community. in love with Emma Stone. That's true. Yes, Dude, that was same. my. That was, I had that same yeah. Exact, that's, yes. Excuse my. The, the marketing for that movie did its job. Mm-hmm. I love Emma Stone. I, to this day. Yes. When she was like we, in the room, like dancing, singing, uh, Take Me Away, I was yeah. like, this is the sexiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm 14. I'm in love with her. <laughs> yeah. And it never went away. Yeah. And I saw La La Land, and I was like, I think I'm in love with her. <laughs> I, saw, I saw La La Land. In theaters, 2016, with my mom, it was a, uh, it was just really funny because I was like, she really wanted to see it, and I'm like, the guy from Drives in it, I'll go see it. And the oh, mom was, great. mom saw it and was like, we should have saw Moonlight. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Jk, they're both fabulous films. Yeah. <laughs> well, Moonlight did deserve the Oscar. Oh, 100 percent, 100 percent. La La Land was great, but best film that year. Yeah, Moonlight, Moonlight should have got Moonlight it over that. Yeah. 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 And do you know who should have won the uh, the uh, the, 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 the Oscar? For uh, what year did Tenacious D come out? 2006. 2006. Do you know who should have won Best Picture? Who should have won Best Picture? Tenacious D. That's, that's a good point. That's they good. really should have. I agree. Because the name of another one from 2006 that was just as good. Casino Royale. <laughs> that's that's good, actually, it's, okay. a it's a good one. Does that have Bigfoot? The James doesn't. <laughs> it's funny. It's got bring, Big Dan. It's funny you bring up James Bond because uh, this past October, all those movies were on Amazon Prime mm-hmm. for free. But when I found out, I only had two weeks left, so I watched every James Bond movie in the span of two no weeks. No way. How did that Man, go for you? You are not supposed to consume that kind of media back to back to back. Because I was no. watching, on average, I did the math. It was I was watching two and a half James Bond movies every night. That's, and a lot of those older ones fun. from like the 60s and 70s have That's no right being as long as they are. No, they don't. No, <laughs> yeah. they don't. And it's just like, yeah. Especially you, Thunder. I mean, you talked yeah, about this Thunder, before. Oh, because Thunderball whole, is rough. Yeah, those there's, first four, I think, yeah, are too yeah. long. Thunderball is rough. Then they... It's so rough that they there's a whole licensing thing. If you ever do a James yeah. Bond uh, episode, bring me back on it. Yes, I mean, we, we have all, discussed this many times. Yeah, we have talk, we've, like, we've discussed yeah. an entire podcast as well. Yeah, oh, okay. we're, we're we're still ironing yeah. things out <laughs> because uh, I do have a lot of thoughts and opinions on those movies. Hell yeah, yeah so do we. Is, <laughs> I've only seen a couple. It's just like, they're great. Yeah, I've only seen the good ones. There's Austin powers. Does that the count? Oh yeah, I I, I, I think it's yeah. canon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like uh, that. Yeah, I, I really like. Uh, 
I really like Man with the Golden Gun because that's so great that's for good. me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's a great villain. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Um, where are we going? Oh, 2006. Movies made in 2006. Yeah. I don't know. It came out in 2006. No, so my point stands. Tenacious D. Should have won the Oscar that year. That, I mean, I can't yeah. argue with it because I literally can't think of any movies. So. That's true. It was, it was weird because it's like 2007 has like Maybe Spider-Man 3 bones. and Hot Rod. School of Rock may have came out that year too. No, I think School of Rock no, was like 2004. No, that was okay, So Jedi was on a streak when this movie came yeah, out. Yeah, that was 2004. Oh, yeah. This was, yeah. He, was, he was in his... Definitely, I mean, I think he's always been prime, but yeah. the mo- his most prime. Well, again, it's just like he, like he doesn't try. He, they're just like, hey, mm-hmm. you're you're gonna be this character, and he's like, okay, I'll be yeah. black. You're gonna be shallow hell. You're yeah. gonna be Bowser. The, you're gonna be he's fucking Bowser, bro. The Departed won that year. I think that's a fair. That's a fair rival to I, I, I guess so. I I, call, I'm with him. I call Tenacious him. D is more fun. I yeah. also <laughs> just saw that yeah. Wallace and Gromit, Curse of the Were Rabbit, came out, and honestly. <laughs> That one should have done it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that movie goes hard. It does. I don't think I've seen any Wallace and Gromit. I like know what they are. Obviously, I just yeah. can't think. Of, uh, I don't think I've seen a whole feature. The Were Rabbit has one of the greatest plot twists in a film I've ever seen in my life. Okay, it does. Yeah, That's it does. a. It does. Okay, two, two, two confirmed. I also have okay. a PS2 game if you want it. Oh hell yeah! So, so you can, you can, Love uh, a vintage. I think uh, Charlie, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory was also 2006 with uh, Johnny. Ooh. That always scares me. I watched the fuck it out of that. <laughs> it's, it's weird, but I watched the fuck out of it. Gene Wilder version, but it is pretty spooky. What do you he's... think about Timothy? Sh- this Timothy Chalamet son of a bitch. I saw, I saw something <laughs> that was really funny. That um, they were like, "Yeah, we didn't even need Tim- uh, Timothy. I call him Timmy, Timmy. Um, to like do a singing audition because uh-huh. we saw the YouTube videos he did in high school. Oh, that's early. right. Yeah, yeah, I, I heard about that. Seen those. I was more embarrassed that I had seen those videos yeah. before I read that quote. I was like, I know exactly what these are because I. <clears throat> was like, who is this up-and-coming child? And I'm like, oh, he seems actually kind of cool. He hangs out with Kid Cudi. Yeah. No, I, I <laughs> like comes in peaches. Chalamet, that I also as well. I was like, saying who would have done a better Willy Wonka just had like, the trailer that they saw, which obviously, yeah. I think he would have to do his talent job. But like, someone like Daniel Radcliffe who, I mean, like, it, would have been great. I saw Aubrey Plaza. <laughs> Why not? It was yeah. between him, Ryan Gosling, and Donald Glover. I mean, I was that was the three. That was yeah. Those were like the three. Those are just yeah. Big big spectrum there. I could not see Donald Glover wanting to do that. I feel like he always seems selective of what he does. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Ryan Ryan Gosling. I don't. Maybe 10, 20 years ago. I don't. I mean, I don't know why he's doing it now. That understandable. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, so, yeah. Yeah. He probably was like, I can't be Willy Wonka and Ken. He's yeah. like, I can't. Yeah. These are two. Right. This might brand me forever. Yeah. Well, it's crazy because like I feel like he's a good comedic actor. Oh, he's, he's really funny. Oh, yeah. So oh, it's yeah. like everyone he's great. Seen him, but he's pretty funny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He should have tried, but he didn't talk. We we him. watched the yeah. Big Short a couple weeks ago, and yeah, he's yeah, fucking he's hilarious. Very funny. Yeah. yeah. He's funny in La La Land. What I mean about Ryan Gosling is, every time I see him in a movie, he's always getting scared. That's true. Is that like a thing? I mean, like he was like jumping, like yeah. getting frightened well, by stuff. He does. The he nice does that. Too. Uh, the Nice Guys is one of my favorite movie. movies. Yeah. Right. Everybody it's, hates on it. I still haven't oh, seen nice it. Guys. It's great. Everyone I, I know who's seen it loves it. So I gotta, I gotta. I've catch overheard up. a couple at a restaurant be like, "Oh, remember that horrible movie with Ryan Gosling okay, and Russell Crowe?" Who's Crow? talking about the Nice Guys besides you and that couple? When did that movie even come out? The Nice Guys. Twenty fifteen or yeah, seventeen? Okay, so it, was pretty, it just yeah. went over my head. No, that movie. It's one of those movies that like you, like you bring it to someone who loves it. It's like, yes, that movie's fantastic. It's such a great I movie. I have friends who react the same exact way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like okay. me with uh, In Bad. Time and uh, Justin Timberlake. I saw, That's not a bad movie. I saw In yeah. Time. Yeah. It's really not. Yeah. I haven't yeah. rewatched it. I wish. I only have the DVD. The blu ray super expensive. I saw it in theaters, and I, I did a double feature actually that day because Jason Siegel's The Muppets was released that same weekend. <laughs> <laughs> and listen, that is the best Muppet movie. I will it die is. on that oh, hill. Yeah, come on. Amy Adams. Amy Another Adams. Amy, Amy Adams yeah. and Jason Siegel yeah. crossing paths once again. Yeah. Oh, wow. Another, yeah. Destiny. Wow. Tenacious D created the Muppets. No. Mario not Luigi. dying on that hill. <laughs> that's, that's actually kind of wild, though, that they've opened this movie. Yeah. And Jack Black's in the Muppets. Yeah. They kidnap him as Jack they Black. Do. So it looks it's a like... Tenacious D joint. It's canon. Yeah. 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 It's in... That's the sequel. That's the real that is the, sequel. That is the sole Muppets sequel. Muppets meet Tenacious D. Tenacious I would watch it. I'd watch the fuck out of that. Yeah, yeah. they could do drugs with Doctor Teeth and the Electric Mayhem. What other what other movies I think should the Muppets like make? Oh my God, Muppetheimer. <laughs> Muppetheimer. I saw one. There that was, was that like inappropriate Muppets movie that came out a few years ago. Oh, oh with Time Melissa. Burns. Yeah, was, I heard it was awful. dog I saw crap. Like eight years ago, it, ruined, it ruined my week. <laughs> yeah, as a as a Muppets purist, I was like, I can't see it was that. Bad. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, I don't know. I would love. The, there was a big campaign for a Muppets Knives Out movie. Yeah, that would be fun. Oh, that would be uh, incredible, but Disney notoriously dislikes licensing things. Well, or yeah, well, it's crazy things like I that. I saw somebody do like do like a Star Wars like the original trilogy with the Muppets. Mm, yeah, and I love like, like that. They have all the cards to do that, but they choose not to. No, yeah, they don't like money. A game of like a Game of Thrones story with the Muppets would be funny. <laughs> I think like Pulp Fiction would be so good. Yeah. Oh, that would be great. Yeah, because they've, they've done all these things. Like they did Treasure Island, yeah. uh, Wizard of Oz. So there's all these like... Intellect- they, took, they took Manhattan. They did take Manhattan. It yeah. was it, it was the incredible. The Coast Guard had to get involved with that one. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that got a little dicey. A little dicey. It's okay. Giuliani took it back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <sighs> it would, yeah. I, I love the Muppets though. That's yeah. like... It's... The, my favorite tickles thing, my heart. My favorite thing about the Muppets, and I think this reflects a lot about my thoughts on humanity and people in general is that we still treat them like they're real because they are yeah like you look up you look up rainbow connection you're not going to see jim henson's name you're going to see kermit the frog 100 yeah. percent. and it's like you see like i watch it behind the scenes when they did the um the christmas carol mm. and it's like michael Caine's like yeah no i just treat them like regular actors and that's why it's so fun i treat them, them like they're real yeah, actors <laughs> i saw a tweet like that actually that talked about um Christmas Carol, yeah. how Michael Caine treated them as actors, but then on Treasure Island, <laughs> Tim Curry was pretty much acting like a Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> and I have never that. heard like a more like spot on yeah. comparison of two things. Uh, I think the I, I think it'd be funny if they did like Muppet movies and like older comedies, like like imagine like Three Amigos, something like right? that. <laughs> I'm gonna up their alley, like that Three yeah. Amigos Muppet, playing tr- playing like trains and automobiles. Them, like, Two of them can be Muppets, but there has to be one of me. Oh, it would be the villain. Yeah. And every movie I know. Yeah. I think the rule is, like, everybody, if you, let's say we recast a movie that already exists, you can recast everybody as a Muppet except for one human. Yeah. What, like, movie would you want to do? I've done this. I answered this before. My answer is Sister Act 2, Back in the Habit. (laughs) And we keep Whoopi Goldberg. That's good. Yeah. That's all. Well, she, she was in, oh, no, she was in one of the Elmo movies, I believe. She's bounced around everywhere. She yeah, did episodes of the Muppets, uh, I, yeah. or not Muppets. She did. She's an episode of Sesame I Street. Think, she did a couple Muppet like Christmas yeah, special that's things. Right. Yeah. I think uh, Blade Runner keep Harrison Ford because that whole message of like they're just like us. But am I? Am I a replicant? I am obsessed That'd with be that. Incredible. That's incredible. We make that. yeah. I think uh, Coach Carter would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I never thought of a sports movie. Oh my god. All kinds of fucking play uh, play around Carter, there. You remember the Titans and it's uh, who's the who's the coach? Remember the Titans? Uh, Denzel. Denzel, yeah. 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 That's it. We keep Denzel. Carter is Samuel Sam Lane. Jackson. Yeah, yeah you keep Sam we Jackson. keep Sam and, Jackson. And, 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 yeah, the basketball players is like Rizzo and and Kirk. right. He's he slams Rizzo up against the fucking wall. Yeah. Rizzo's like, "Why are you touching me?" And he's yeah. like, "I'm a new basketball <laughs> coach." Samuel Jackson <laughs> watching the fight for the first time and Gonz is getting shoot from a cannon. Half court to dunk the basketball. <laughs> he's down just knocking the the greatest movie in the world it's gonna at least break even <laughs> yeah at least jeez that'd be fun I'm yeah. so, I love it The Departed <laughs> yeah I guess we could do that who, who do we keep who do we keep maybe Marky. Mark Wahlberg yeah <laughs> Mark. I was thinking Mark too and maybe Jack Nicholson <laughs> oh yeah oh I love it but, but, uh, but just imagine like one of the old men pulling out because like if Jack Nicholson didn't stay on, yeah. it'd be definitely one of the old guys. Oh yeah, and mm-hmm. it would uh, they, they, they pull out a gun <laughs> <laughs> like that one with that one monologue. Yeah, <laughs> you see him up and just hand a little gun. I, mean, I, I forget what movie it's from, but it's like Kermit is like a detective or something. And he's like, normally I don't resolve. I, I prefer to have a result to like you know nonviolent solutions. And then like he turns around and just starts shooting a revolver. <laughs> I believe. He's a detective. I think that might be Caper. Yeah, that yeah. sounds about right. I don't remember that, but that sounds. I don't. I, have Cape, I, I don't think I've seen Caper or Manhattan because just because they're really? not they're not streaming anywhere. Otherwise, yeah. I probably would have watched them by now. I think I. I they're not on VHS. Not, oh hell yeah! Ooh. I think I do actually. I may have to check the basement. Yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to check the records. <laughs> Jamie, pull, pull that up. Hard pull right. Up, Jamie. Hard copy of Muppets Take Manhattan. Uh, you right. can't. You All can't right. stream this baby. Who took it better, Jason or the Muppets? Who took Manhattan better? Mm. I haven't seen other movies. So oh, Jason takes know. Manhattan is a fucking treat. <laughs> Isn't he just on like a cruise ship? Yeah. No, he's yeah. just in Man- he's just in Vancouver. He's in Manhattan <laughs> for like two for like twenty minutes. Yeah, he's in, like, he's... Uh, the 
Killer like yeah. Friday, Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, Jason takes Manhattan. Yeah. Ooh. I guess the Muppets. I would say have to yeah, take it because they, they, they were. They were in it more. Yeah, they were literally in Manhattan. I think. Whereas Jason was like, I'm in Canada. Did they? Yeah. Did they make that movie to like? Did they name it Jason Takes Manhattan? Yeah. Yeah. This was like the was seventh. It? This is like the seventh or eighth Friday. And was it after the Muppets? One? Like, was like, were that's they, a good one. I think spoof that's a that? really good question, yeah, actually. Yeah, just a spoof on the <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, comment below. Who do you think did it first? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we combine the two movies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Jason, Jason versus uh, Jason's Jason the human, the one human. Jason versus Kermit. Yeah. Ooh. Or uh, I, my favorite Friday the Thirteenth film is uh, Jason X. Jason goes to space. <laughs> It's I I do adore Jason X. I don't know if it's my favorite favorite favorite, but it's it's very fun watchable it's time. It's my favorite because it's the only one I've seen. Fair. <laughs> okay. It's it's a fun time. We we keep saying fun movies. This yeah. is what that's oh, yeah. that's a fun movie. I only remember there was an episode of MythBusters where they were trying to find out if you really can Did freeze someone's liquid face nitrate. With yeah, with nitrogen. Yeah. No, that that is that goes so hard. Yeah, that yeah, was one I, of the best. That is one of the best yeah, kills. That's a great I think. kill. Was yeah. there was there a solution? I don't think it. I don't think it worked, uh, if I remember correctly. That, that's, that's, that's a good that's thing. A Almost, that's a bummer. Yeah. That's a good thing. Can't <laughs> it's, it's a good thing they can't kill someone. I can finally that hang out thing. around liquid nitrogen and not fear someone smashing my face. Uh, I could be on the <laughs> Long last. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's end this podcast. Everyone, say your final thoughts, and we'll. And we'll... Uh, would watch again. Please make more. Uh, yeah, I'd love to see a sequel, Jack Black. If you're watching this, please, please do. Please, Jack. Uh, I definitely think this is like the magnum opus of film. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, I think the only movie that tops it in 2006 is Wallace and Gromit Meet the Werewolf. Okay. Or, or Were Rabbit, my bad. Um, and yeah, fantastic movie. Good Hell yeah. Time. That's great. I think we'll see you guys next time. Ooh. Big peace. <laughs>